I dated somebody one time and uh, they thought that I was, um, you know, too focused on Trump. A few months back, Trump posted this video of far right conspiracy theorist Laura Loomer going into detail about her personal dating life and how Donald Trump has essentially ruined it. And watching this video now with the new context surrounding Trump and Loomer's relationship really raises a lot more questions than it answers. For example, we have seen these new pictures of Trump wrapping his arm around Laura Loomer's waist and this came after we learned that Laura Loomer traveled with Trump to the debate before Trump floated conspiracy theories about Haitian immigrants and traveled with Trump to the 9-11 memorial ceremony after Laura Loomer spread conspiracy theories about 9-11 being an inside job. We also learned not long ago that Trump and Melania haven't even slept in the same bed since 2005. So with all of this put together, people began speculating, but again, we don't have any concrete evidence yet. We have a lot to break down with this new Trump video because this only adds to the suspicions. So all that I ask is that you leave a like on the video below and double check to make sure you're subscribed to the Adam Mockler YouTube channel. So before we get to this post, let's break down what Donald Trump has posted on Truth Social today because it's a bunch of unhinged nonsense, mostly in capital letters. We won't read this whole thing, but he said, the rhetoric lies as exemplified by the false statements made by comrade Kamala Harris during the rigged and highly partisan ABC debate and all of the ridiculous lawsuits specifically designed to inflict damage on Joe's, then Kamala's political opponent, me, has taken politics in our country to a whole new level of hatred, abuse, and distrust. So right here in this tweet, or in this, sorry, Truth Social post, Trump is saying that our rhetoric, the rhetoric of the left, is what amped up the tension in US politics, but it is absolutely laughable because let's do a quick exercise. Let's go through and highlight all of the inflammatory things that Trump says in this post. He already says false statements right here here. He says, Comrade Kamala Harris. He is calling Kamala a communist within the first line. He then says, rigged and highly partisan ABC. That is inflammatory because he is attacking the media. He then says, ridiculous lawsuits. He then says, Joe's, then Kamala's. He says, it's taking it to a whole new level of hatred, abuse, and distrust. I mean, I'm highlighting all of this inflammatory rhetoric, and I'm not even halfway through. The communist left rhetoric. You guys understand how calling your political opponent a communist is an inflammatory right? He then says the bullets are flying, they're invading our country, that is more inflammatory rhetoric, then we can honestly highlight this entire part that is capitalized because he says terrorists, criminals, mentally insane, need to be removed from American cities. The entire point is Trump has zero self-awareness and doesn't see that in the process of calling us extreme, he is the one that is acting extreme. That is so much yellow that it is blinding me, and that is only the first post from Donald Trump. He then said, not long after, after, illegal migrants who are pouring into our country in record numbers are taking the jobs away from black and Hispanic people who have held them for years. It is devastating for the black and Hispanic patriots of our nation. And something I posted on my community post not long ago that I thought was kind of funny is this picture right here. It says Schrodinger's immigrant and somehow they are lazily collecting all the welfare, but at the same time, they're also taking all of the jobs. That is the prime example of Republicans Republicans holding these conflicting beliefs. It truly is like Schrodinger's immigrant. Are they lazy or are they so hardworking they're stealing all of the jobs? Back to this post, he said, these jobs are not replaceable and never will be because under comrade Kamala Harris, the border will be wide open. I mean, the entire point of immigrants coming over here and taking low skill jobs is that they are replaceable. I'm not trying to be offensive, but these jobs are necessarily inherently replaceable jobs. And that is why immigrants love to come over here and take them. That is why people People moved to Springfield, Ohio because they have a booming manufacturing industry and they needed people to work these low skill jobs that don't require an education. So then these migrants can come here and build a family, build a life, then go get an education. It's, it's simple and Trump doesn't understand it. Trump again uses inflammatory rhetoric while saying that we're inflammatory. He says, Kamala is killing black and Hispanic heritage. She is killing their legacy and their rights. Register and vote for your all time favorite president. So right here, he is using this apocalypse rhetoric that is almost like a flip on the white supremacist bloodline rhetoric. So if you've ever heard these Republicans, far right Republicans who say the white bloodline needs to be protected, these immigrants can't come in here. He is now saying that Kamala is killing black and Hispanic heritage because immigrants are moving here. It is a wildly desperate play. And that is only reinforced by this clip of Melania, or sorry, not Melania Trump, Laura Loomer. But what's the difference at this point? Let's watch it. Trump was pushed out of the White House 
in this coup. And when President Trump left Washington, D.C., the truth left with him. And so there's a war on truth, and truth has become a radical concept in this country now. You are now a radical if you speak truth. I have to ask you, Laura, you're, you're single, correct? Yeah. So how intimidating are you for a fellow to ask, to have ask you out? Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like I'm vicious in that sense, but a lot of people just can't handle my lifestyle and I'm very busy. Just, you know, I'll tell you a funny story. I dated somebody one time and uh, they thought that I was, um, you know, too focused on Trump. And they said that I gave, I gave my activism in support of President Trump more attention than I gave them. And it's like, yeah, you're, that's right, because Trump is more important than you. Trump is gonna save our country. And so you need to understand that President Trump is more important than you. And if you think that you're more important than President Trump, then you have some kind of like delusional personality disorder. Have to so take that was the seat. end of that relationship. Uh, that's President right. Trump's my number one priority right now. <laughs> and, and so he should be. Yeah. Well, Laura, it's been great fun talking to you today and I'll look forward to watching your podcast. For so the weirdest part isn't even that Laura Loomer has had relationships ruined by her obsession with Donald Trump. Trump. The weirdest part is that he decided to boost this on his true social account and say, thanks, Laura. And it's a perfect example of how much Trump values loyalty. And I say this over and over, it almost loses its meaning, but he really does love when people are loyal to him. He will actually burn people and roast them on social media if they say one small thing against him. He really just wants loyalty. That's why he needed a new vice president. This Midas Touch article breaks it down perfectly and shows the history of Donald Trump and Laura Loomer over the years years, they've always had a very unique relationship. And what does Donald Trump have to lose at this point? Let me just tell you guys, I am not one to believe speculation anytime ever. After Trump was almost assassinated for the first time and the second time, I said we should all go with the official reporting. There is no reason to believe conspiracy theories, but this isn't even a theory. It is just speculation that I believe can be substantiated by looking at Donald Trump's history, not only in politics, but even before that. He has always been a, I don't want to say ladies man, because that's offensive to women, but he has always been somebody who surrounds himself with women, whether they like it or not. So this article, Trump posted clips of Laura Loomer discussing her dating life and prioritizing him, saying that he is, quote, more important than any boyfriend. This clip went viral. Trump's close relationship with far-right activist Laura Loomer has been scrutinized after she was spotted exiting his campaign jet ahead of the ABC News presidential debate. And Loomer's recent racist comments about Kamala Harris led Trump to distance himself from those comments after the backlash. Flash. And it's crazy that Laura Loomer tweeted this before she hung out with Trump multiple times. She said, if at Kamala Harris wins, the White House will smell like curry and the White House speeches will be facilitated via a call center and the American people will only be able to convey their feedback through a customer satisfaction survey at the end of the call that nobody will understand. It is purely racist remarks that are based on stereotypes that are not true. It's disgusting. Rumors of just how close this relationship is have been flying on Twitter. And I do want to reiterate, these are just rumors. I never want to mislead you guys into thinking that something has been confirmed when it's not. So well, let me say one more time, this hasn't been confirmed, but you guys can draw your own conclusions, correct? So of course, in the video we just watched, Laura Loomer defends Trump's 2020 election loss by saying that we cooed him, that the government cooed Trump when it was obviously the exact opposite situation. Trump tried in a hundred different ways to subvert the will of the American people, but Laura Loomer will never admit that. Loomer offered a glimpse into her dating life, stating that her romantic relationships don't often work out because people can't handle her lifestyle and she's very busy and by very busy she means busy obsessing over Donald Trump. Laura Loomer told her boyfriend that quote Trump is more important than you. Loomer said she needed her boyfriend quote to understand that President Trump is more important than you and if he thought otherwise he must have a delusional personality disorder and here's a photo of them together. If you enjoyed this video and if you appreciate what I do leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.